सो है गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो नाउ दिस इज अ थर्मल पावर प्लांट बेस्ड ऑन कोल गैसोलीन एज द नेम सजेस्ट कोल गैसोलीन कम्स फ्रॉम लिक्विफैक्टिंग कोल इनटू कोल ऑयल एंड देन प्रोसेसिंग इट बाय हाइड्रो ट्रीटिंग व्हिच गिव्स अस कोल गैसोलीन सो दिस इज अ सेल्फ सस्टेनेबल डिजाइन इट विल गिव यू मोर पावर आउट देन यू पुट इन टू मेकिंग द कोल गैसोलीन and aside from my nuclear power plant build videos which use thorium a thermal power plant was the most requested now i know this build a bit messy here but once you organize it it should start looking something like this and for this you are gonna need a bedrock or node which has excellent or very good quality of non metal ore cause that is where we are gonna get our coal out from Also before I get into this video a big thanks to all of the supporters of the channel to you guys who engage so much comment on the videos yeah i highly appreciate you guys so anyways without any further ado let's get straight into this video all right so let's start this video by placing down a large mining grill on top of the bedrock ore deposit which has excellent quality of non metal bedrock ore Now this drill will have a speed 3 and power saving 3 upgrade along with the best tier of drill which will give us 250% speed. So this setup here will consume 200,000 hp per second constantly and it will give us out an ore every 48 seconds. So in order to get a stack it will take roughly 51 minutes. So this is the slowest part of the entire build. Now to process this bedrock ore further I am going to place down a bedrock ore processor connect the crate to it and this one will be controlled by a lever so we are going to process one stack at a time and then produce power out of it it's not a continuous operation as i'm not going to do anything with ore slop it can be basically drained out using a drainage pipe there is no severe consequence or negative consequence of doing that so a drainage pipe for ore slop and in order to provide water there's just a single water barrel along with a heavy infinite water barrel in it. so that should supply the bedrock ore processor with water also make sure to have a speed 3 and effectiveness 3 upgrade in there next up in order to get rid of every other ore type than the non metal bedrock ore i'm going to set a conveyor inserter to shredder mode and the ejector will blacklist the non metal bedrock ore because the non metal bedrock ore will be processed further which will be done by the ore acidizer so this first ore acidizer is for washing purpose so here the non metal bedrock ore will be set to white list so that the pipes only pull out this ore and the ore acidizer will take a speed 3 and effectiveness 3 upgrade now effectiveness upgrade increases the amount of liquid ore acidizer consumes but water is an abundant resource there is no issue in there so a heavy infinite water barrel and this ore acidizer will wash our ore basically doubling it when we process it in a centrifuge so set up a centrifuge here and uh, this centrifuge will have a speed 3 and overdrive 3 upgrade it will process stuff near instantly so the non metal bedrock ore will come in this centrifuge here and aside from giving us the double ore it will also give out gravel So in order to get rid of gravel I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the bedrock ore processor which is set up a conveyor ejector and a conveyor inserter now that the conveyor inserter has a shredding mode doesn't let any items spill out so make sure to white list gravel on the ejector also I'm going to have a speed upgrade in there and then the double bedrock ore is going to get processed again this time in another ore acidizer but this ore acidizer will use hydrogen so liquid hydrogen will prioritize the heavier side of the ore which is coal and the final product the primary fraction of the non metal bedrock ore will be processed in the last centrifuge which will give us coal sulfur and also bedrock ore crumbs so sulfur and bedrock ore crumbs i'm going to get rid of them the same way as i did at the other time using a ejector and an inserter as we don't really need those two items so blacklist coal fragments and we can use the coal fragments in order to craft coal powder so this will be done in a cyclic assembler you can also use the automatic crafting table from nuclear tech mod however that is slow compared to the cyclic assembler so yeah this will pull out all of the coal fragments that's why i have white listed it here and then the cyclic assembler will have an empty schematic along with nine pieces of coal fragment which should give us our, our coal powder now to process this further the coal powder will be processed in an industrial liquefaction machine 
where it will be turned into coal oil. So placing down two industrial liquefaction machines with speed free and power saving three upgrade here. And yeah, connecting the output of the cyclic assembler going into them like this. Make sure that they are centered so that it works kind of like round robin. One piece of coal will go in the left one. The other one will go in the right one if they are centered like this. If they are not, then it will prioritize the nearest one. Anyways, the coal oil will then go in a hydro treater, which is something I have not used that much on this channel. Yeah. So yeah, one of the connections goes to the hydro treater. And this one will need a catalyst in order to work. So here's the catalytic converter and uh, set it to coal oil, which should give us our coal gasoline along with sour gas. Now, in order to produce liquid hydrogen, as we are going to need a lot of it, okay, not a lot of it, but still we are going to need liquid hydrogen in two of our machines. I'm going to set up two chemical plants. Now, these one will just take heavy infinite water barrels in order to give us liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Speed 3, overdrive 3 upgrade so that they can work at their maximum speed. And uh, yeah, but before liquid hydrogen actually goes in the hydro treater, it needs to be pressurized to one pressure unit. That's why I'm going to use a compressor with once again a speed 3 and uh, power saving 3 upgrade here and then connect this compressor in order to take liquid hydrogen. So that will give us a one pressure unit liquid hydrogen for the hydro treater and uh, for the ore acidizer it doesn't need to pressurize. So that's only liquid hydrogen, the normal liquid hydrogen that is. So time to connect some pipes using pentable coated universal fluid ducts and uh, set this line to liquid hydrogen covering this entire thing up and in order to get rid of liquid oxygen we are gonna use the drainage pipe again as once again there is no negative consequence of draining liquid oxygen also connecting liquid hydrogen to the ore acidizer and by the way sour gas can be used in multiple ways what i'm gonna do here is just solidify it in order to get solid fuel so industrial solidifier the solidification machine it will take in sour gas and give us solid fuel in return now the hydro treater will give out the main product which is coal gasoline i'm gonna set up a tank for that and set up pipes like this and this tank will be in input output mode when it is working and when it's not it's just gonna be in an input mode in order to use all of the coal gasoline i'm gonna use these industrial combustion engines and the piston inside them will be for high speed steel as coal gasoline is what a medium type fuel and high speed steel has 100% efficiency for medium type fuel. So yeah high speed steel pistons inside all of the industrial combustion engines and I'm gonna use three of them you can also use one if that's just gonna take longer in order to burn all of the coal gasoline that we have produced but in the end you are going to get the same amount of total power out of it so it doesn't really matter how many engines you are using and uh, yeah connecting the power out of all of them and we also need to get rid of the suit that we are going to produce so for that connecting some exhaust pipes going into an industrial smokestack use one as it doesn't really have any maximum throughput i'm just using two for aesthetic purposes so uh, starting the drill now this will give us a bedrock ore every 48 seconds as i told you before the last step is connecting power to all of the machines that we have here which is kind of a tedious step as there are quite a few machines that we have but once it's all done then we can test this out so starting to look something like this also you will need an hg2rf converter in order to power the cyclic assembler connecting this with power and uh, oh yeah all of the energy storage blocks now have a limit as to the amount of power they can put out so that is also one thing that you will need to keep in mind because the lower tiers of energy storage blocks don't uh, have a cap on them 
but anyways even at maximum this uh, entire setup doesn't really exceed 1 million hg per second so we should be good so with the initial power supplied we are gonna produce liquid hydrogen which should fill up the buffers for the hydro treater the compressor and uh, or acidizer along with both of the chemical plants so once the internal buffer is full for all of them what i'm gonna do is once again top up this energy storage block so that we can see how much power we have consumed so here starts the process the better core processor will start processing the ore that should end up in an ore acidizer it should wash it giving us the double product in a centrifuge this entire process is way too fast because i have used uh, the overdrive upgrades otherwise you would be able to see however you can see the cyclic assembler working the liquefactors are making coal oil as for the hydro treater once again it's also pretty fast and but we can see the coal gasoline being produced here so there goes our coal gasoline the uh, supply is nearly continuous so that's that and now what i'm gonna do is just wait it out and see how much coal gasoline we can get out from a single stack of bedrock ore this one had like 1.98 so excellent quality of non-metal bedrock ore and here you can see sulfur and bedrock ore crumbs coming out these crumbs can be further processed or basically processed once again in order to make uh, some more non-metal no not non-metal the entire bedrock ore i think anyways so here's the entire process it took about eight minutes and here's all of the other ore that we got out along with the sulfur and bedrock ore crumbs however the important thing here will be of course the coal gasoline which exactly 64 buckets so yeah uh, it will give out more or less around 64 buckets for every stack of ore time to fill up all of the industrial combustion engines by putting this in input output mode and now if i start all three of them that should give us roughly 3 million hg per second so if i were to use a single combustion engine it would have taken nine minutes approximately nine minutes in order to get rid of all of the coal gasoline with three of these it will take three minutes so we ended up using what 20 24 million he in order to produce all of this coal gasoline here and now let's see how much we are going to produce so process is still going we are not polluting our environment surprisingly <laughs> and this is nearly drained out so little bit more here and we should end up with roughly 609 610 million second. so that's uh, what like three times more than what we uh, consumed in order to produce this coal gasoline now if you were to use an electrolyzer at the end then you would get a lot more coal out of it which means a lot more power so yeah this design can be further processed anyways i hope you enjoyed this video learned something from it if you did do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this if you have any questions let me know peace out stay safe